In this video, I'll be showing you some 4x4 example solves. So the method I'm going to be using is f3l slash columns into 3 to 3 This method doesn't have an official name or anything because I don't think really anyone uses it other than me. However, I think this method is pretty cool and it's worthwhile to show some example solves for. So I'll be tracing off camera for all three of the solves. And then for the first solve, I'm going to show the whole entire solution. Second solve, I'll show up to 3 to 3 And third solve, I'll just show the f3l. This way I can show more of the f3l part of the solve so that this video doesn't get too long or anything. So if you're interested in this method for some reason, I do have a tutorial and a tutorial for also avoiding Olo parody. So both of those videos should be in the description if you want to check them out. Alright, on to the first solve. This solve, I'll be doing the whole entire solve, including the 2 3 stage and everything. So the trace I got was odd. So the first center I think that makes most sense to make is uh, this center. You have two yellow lines to make one yellow center and just one inner slice move. And that also solves the parity. First pair is also good to look at when I have the time. Usually I don't, but in this case, I see this line and this wing, which will make a pretty good first pair. So I think I'll solve the yellow center in the front like this. So I can get straight into this uh, pair. So I think what I'll do is first move the center like that and then create this pair. And then finally insert this last center piece. That should have avoided parity, create this center as well as this pair, which I can move like that. So next in the back, I see this thing where I have two centers here and then this one wing here. So I can solve that like this. Then I see this pair of centers and this wing, so I can just go ahead and solve this pair like this. Uh, there's a few that can solve this actually, but I think what makes more sense is do a U and then pair this here like that. And then do a U2 and insert it from the back. Alright, next, nothing too great, but I think I want to finish off this red wing. That way I never have to really look at this slot. So, connect these two. And then these two. Then finally insert this pair from the back. Like that, and then that should solve these two. So from here I see this pair of centers and then this wing, as well as this pair already made, but it's not in its slot. So what I think I'm going to do is something like this. I think I'll first move over this pair to the right side first. So this is pretty simple. Just do a U slice, F2, and then that. And then now the pair is here, and now I can insert it like that. So that moves this wing here, but this is not the greatest position to solve this pair in. So I think what I'll do is use this wing here in the back to connect it up the two centers, and then solve it like that. So after that, the first thing I see is this wing pairs up with the center perfectly. So I'll just take that out first. And then I have this pair to solve. So just bring the center here and insert this whole pair together. Lastly, I see this free center here and then this wings here in the back. So it's pretty easy. Just do R and E moves here pretty much to solve that. And then insert this pair into here. And already when I inserted this wing here, I noticed that this edge will be preserved the whole time and it's solved. So that will be pretty handy to keep in mind for 3 to 3. So yeah, insert this. So before I slice over, because I know I have this solved edge, I'm going to look for this wing, which is over here. So I'll solve this wing here first. So now when I slice over like this, I create two free edges, which is pretty nice. All right, so first off, this is here. So Normally, what you might do is take this out and put this here, which is not that great. What is a better idea is, notice this wing is here, so insert this here, like this. Then insert this here correctly. That way, while I take this edge and put it here, I can also insert this edge here that matches up with this wing. Then I can move on to this last one immediately, which is actually back here. So, what I'll do here is just do a double slice because there's not that many great options, so just double slice here to solve this wing. Um, if I insert this edge here, I'll get a two flip, which is not that great. So I think I'll insert it the wrong way. That way I have a three cycle, which is a bit better. So it just solves the three cycle, insert this here, and insert this here. So yeah, that 3 to 3 was kind of complicated, but hopefully it made sense. 
Um, so this rest is pretty straightforward, just to bit three stage. This is a free pair I see, so obviously this first. Uh, I would see these two, and then I will see this edge is already solved and this corner here. Um, so I'll solve this pair first. Then I'll solve this with keyhole, so just move this over and insert this corner here. And then from this last one, it's pretty simple, just do double sexy. Alright, no Ola parry, which is great. And then Ola, I just do this. And then PLO is just S perm. So here I'll just do uh, PLO parry first, I guess. And then U prime Y perm. And then that solves it. Alright, solve two. This one I will do F3L as well as two to three, but not to be three stage. For the second scramble, I got an odd count, so that means just one inner slice move, and I see blue can be done in one slice perfectly, so that's pretty nice, and that's one benefit of being con neutral, you get some pretty nice options like this. Also, some other cool things I can see here, if I do a D2 and an RW prime, I create this free pair here, uh, so yellow, yellow, and then this yellow, blue wing, which is beautiful, and then I have this center pair, and then this wing right next to it, so I can make this pair pretty much next, so yeah. First up, I'll solve parity as well as the first center, which is just D2, RW prime. And now I have this pair and then this pair to deal with. I think first what I'll do is solve this pair like this. And then put it into its place like that. And then after that, I think I'll just um, put this center in its right place. So just do a UW prime F2 and then L to bring it into its place. Um, Alright, so now there's a few options I see, but I think what I'll do is this one. It's a free pair here, so free pair of centers here on this wing. I'll just take this out and then put it into this slot where it belongs. And then here, uh, for look ahead, I see a lot of red pieces, I think. Right here, right here, right here. So I think I'll finish off the red uh, center edge pair. So first insert that. So to finish this pair, I think I need this, this, and this. And it's actually not too friendly, but it kind of works. So first put this together, and then put this up. Then solve it all together like that. Not the greatest efficient pair, but it solves this back slot, which is nice for look ahead. What I see next is uh, these two, and then the center is here. So I think what I'll do is insert that up there first. Like that. Put this center here. Gonna make the pair and then insert the pair through the back. So while doing that, I didn't really see the blue white wing because it's in the back here. So what I would do is try to finish off the blue orange center and edge first because I already know where all the pieces are. So first off, I think I'll solve um, this piece first. I might need to rotate, but it kind of works. Uh, so this one's just solved with that. So that solves this pair. Then for this last pair, I'm not sure what's the greatest solution for this, but this one works pretty well. So just put this wing here and then the center here like this. And then slice down with a slice to create the pair. And then I'll insert the pair through the back like this. And then realign this with an F, but I actually cancel because I see this center thing here. So instead of just doing an F, I'll do a rotation and then R2, U, R prime. That solves this, this, this is already solved. And then insert this pair through the back like that. So while doing that, I saw no free edges, which is not the best, but whatever. So I'll just slice over randomly. Look for this wing, which is the green orange, which is here. So here, what I'll try to do is replace it with the yellow red edge, but it's actually back here. So in this case, I'm not sure exactly where for replacing it. Um, so I guess I will actually try to do it. Um, take this out and then insert it here. And then insert this here. That was not efficient, but it was a bad case. So now I solved these two and then finally solved this one, which is back here. And then slice back. So the rest of this should be pretty standard. Just insert this wing here first. And then insert this. I'll just do um, this. 
and then here insert this piece here and then lastly insert this here and that should solve the two to three all right finally the last valve which will just show that 3 part will solve all right so this final scramble i got even for my trace and i see a few options here i think i'll do white because there's already this thing here and then these two centers which can be solved in two inner slices which solves parity as well in terms of pairs there's so many things i can do here free pair here there's a free uh edge pair here and then there's also a center and wing connected here so there's a lot of things i can do with orange and red uh so i think what i'll do is preserve this and this i think preserving this is going to be too much for inspection but it might just stay preserved actually but i'll focus mostly on preserving this and this so what i think i'll do first is uh solve this center up here then I can move this pair over, move the center up with one inner move, and then bring the centers in like that. That's off the center as well as this free pair. So before moving the center in, I think I'll preserve this edge pair thing like this. That way it doesn't get ruined and then move in the center. This solves the parity as well as the center as well as this pair and this edge is also preserved. And also luckily preserved this orange thing. So the wing and orange is ready together. So now I can just go straight into solving this pair, like that, and then solve it. So now I want to solve the red center and then this thing as well, but it's just pretty inconvenient because the centers are all over the cube and this edge is over here. So I don't think it's the best choice to do it right now, but I'll keep in mind this edge is here and preserve it. So I think what makes the most sense from this point is have this wing here and the center, connect these two. This is in the wrong spot, so just do an R2P to R2 to solve it into this slot. I think this green-white pair will be the next good pair to do. So I'll put this center over here, like that. And then I can insert this pair all together like this. I think that's a pretty good solution, actually. So at this point, this cube is actually pretty messy. There's not really any easy things to do. So I think what I'll do next is actually this pair. So finish off the green, I can move the center here like this, which solves the pair and now insert it to the right by doing R prime and then insert this here like this and finish it off with an R. All right, so for here, I can do something, I think that's pretty nice and we'll also preserve this edge. So this um, wing is already down here. Uh, the pair is already pre-made here. So from here, just do a setup move move this wing here like this and then put in the whole pair in like that that kind of worked out and also brings this edge here which is pretty easy to solve i'll just move this edge here with a edge and then insert this center pair thing do an f and then f3 should be solved so yeah hopefully you found these example solves helpful uh, I did go a bit quick with auto solves because they're meant to be advanced, but if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. So as you can see, there's a lot of cool tricks you can use for this method and you can get lucky quite a bit. So that's why I really think this method has a lot of potential and I think more people should use it. There are some flaws though, for example in this video, there are some cases where I just had really bad cases and nothing really to do. But there's also times where you get like really easy cases, so it's a bit of a trade-off for this method. So either way, hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.